What's up guys, it's Thomas with Real Broker and today we have a special show for you. We're checking out the city of Palatka, which is a historic town within Putnam County, right on the St. Johns River here. And this is gonna be one that you don't wanna miss. And at the end of the video, we're gonna actually check out my sister's house, which she just purchased, which has a hundred feet of waterfront on the St. Johns. Now, before we get started for the day, we wanted to stop and grab a little bit to eat, a quick cup of coffee. We're here at Magnolia, which is on St. John's Avenue, which is the main historic district here in Palatka. Let's go check it out. So we're here right on the St. John's River. We're, we're in the downtown portion of Palatka. And I just wanna give you a little bit of a brief history. This town was established in 1821 and it really had its heyday in the 1800s and early 1900s. It was known as a port city because one, you're on the St. John's River here, but you also had a railroad coming through here as well, which was a lot more active back in the day. In the early 1900s, they had two freezes back to back um, year over year where it actually decimated the entire citrus crop, which is one of the main industries here at that time. And then they also had a great fire, which destroyed a good bit of downtown Palatka at that time. And it really hasn't recovered up until a couple of uh, these past couple of years where we've seen a lot of people moving into St. Augustine, moving into Florida in general. And we've seen people moving from St. John's County, St. Augustine to Palatka because now they can't afford St. John's County. For example, my first best friend that I ever had in the entire world, I moved him into Palatka last year. Well, he moved himself here, he wanted to move here. And then also my sister moved here. She just closed on a house two weeks ago, right here on the St. John's River because they got everything they wanted. They got the affordability, they got an acre of land, and they also got a hundred feet of waterfront. So the city of Palatka is located within Putnam County and it has a couple other cities that you might know or you might not know. A couple of them are gonna be Interlaken, you have Wielaka, you have Satsuma, Flora home, and that's just to name a few. And the, the best part about living in this area here is your access to the nature that surrounds you. So you have the St. John's River right behind you, you have the Placa National Forest, and you also have Ravine Garden State Park just right up the road, just to name a few. The main roads that you need to know about is gonna be State Road 17, which is the bridge you can see right behind us. And that's gonna be your main access to downtown Palatka and going north and south as well. You can go north all the way up to Green Cove Springs if you wanted to. Uh, there are also a couple other roads that you need to know about, which is State Road 100 and also State Road 20. Those are gonna be some of the main thoroughfares to get around the city of Palatka and in and around Putnam County. So how far are you from things here in Palatka? You know, you're in central Florida, so how far is it to the beach? Well, that's gonna be about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on where you live here in Palatka or Putnam County, could be a little bit further out. Uh, if you need to get to the hospital, that's gonna be right off Route 20. That's gonna be HCA Florida Putnam Hospital. So that's gonna be about a 15 minute drive from downtown Palatka. If you need to go to the airport, now that's gonna be about an hour and a half ride up the way to Jacksonville. But if you need to go to Orlando, that's only two hours away from this location here. So if you're looking for entertainment or some type of nightlife, downtown Palatka doesn't have too much of that, but they did just open Azalea Brewing Company, which makes beer here. And it's a beautiful little space, which we'll show you at the uh, portion of the end of this video. Uh, but if you're looking for that restaurant, the bars, the scene, you're gonna go to downtown St. Augustine. And from this location, it's gonna be about 45 minutes. So there are some things I wanted to touch on in terms of schools here in the area. Now, according to the Florida Department of Education, the graduation rate here in Putnam County is not that great. It's at 81.2%, and the average for the entire state of Florida is 87.3%. So they're significantly lower than the state's average. Now, if you're talking about the entire school district of, of Putnam County, the grade letter from the Florida Department of Education is gonna be a D but it's all area specific. For example, you have Kelly Smith Elementary, which is here in Palatka, and that's a B school. So it's all gonna be about location, location, location. So some of the great things about living in Palatka are going to be the cost of living. If you're looking to move to Florida, Palatka may be your answer to the cost of living issue that you see throughout the entire state because 
prices for homes here are much cheaper than they are in a lot of other places. You also have access to this historic downtown area, which as you can see is, is going through a little bit of a revitalization of the downtown here, as you could tell by us going over to the Magnolia for breakfast. Uh, and the third thing is, is your access to nature. You got the St. John's River right here. You have Palatka National State Forest, and you also have Ravine Garden State Park, all within a quick commute of this area. So there's a lot of things to do here with downtown Palatka, and it might be the perfect place for you. Talked a little bit about the access to nature and one of the main community events that happen here and it happens every single year is going to be the bass fishing tournament which happens right here on the St. John's River. Some really great fishing in the river over here and then also they have the blue crab festival which is a festival about blue crabs here which is right down here in downtown Palatka. It's a thing to check out for sure. So we covered a couple of the positives about living here in Palaka. So what are some of the negatives? Well, the main negative is gonna be the transportation to other areas because you are right here on the St. John's River. You're, you're 45 minutes from downtown St. Augustine. You're over an hour to Jacksonville. So if you're looking for a rural area, but like a little bit of a downtown, then Palaka is gonna be the place for you. But if you're not, then it may not be the way to go. Another thing that you may not like about Palatka is that it's still kind of turning the page. The downtown is getting a lot of work done on it, but you have buildings just like the one behind us that are kind of dilapidated. They haven't been really kept up over these years. So you may not want to be here for that change. So we talked about how great the cost of living is here in the area in Putnam County and in Palatka. So if you're looking to buy a single family home in Putnam County, the average sale price for a single family home is gonna be $260,000. Now, if you're looking at the sale to list price, trying to get an idea of how much negotiation room you have there, it's about 94.7% of list price. So if a house is listed at $100,000, it's gonna sell for $94,700. The days on market is 82 days, so it's much higher than what you're gonna see in Duval County and St. John's County. So if you're talking about the city of Palatka, the average sale price for a single family home is gonna be $210,000 with a sale to list price of 94% on average. So once again, if it was a $100,000 list price, it's gonna sell for $94,000. The days on market for the city of Palatka is a little bit lower than Putnam County in general at 72 days. So we're standing right behind my sister's house right now, which she just purchased this past month and she got a killer deal on it. She paid $450,000 for it. It's a 3 2 1,440 square feet. So that comes out to about $312 a square foot. Now, when you compare that to St. John's County, you can buy a brand new construction home for $450,000, but your neighbor's gonna be about 10 feet away. Right now we're sitting on about an acre of land. And let me take a look at this over here. You also have about 100 feet of waterfront right on the St. John's River here. And if you're comparing apples to oranges, this may be worth the bang for the buck over here versus St. John's County. One thing to note about Palatka is that the taxes are a little bit higher than our neighbors in St. John's County and in Duval County. On average here, the taxes are gonna be about 1.6% of purchase price. So if you have a $100,000 home, your taxes are gonna be roughly $1,600 a year. It all depends on the area you live in, but just in general, think of 1.6% to your purchase price. And as I said before, I moved one of my best friends over here to Palatka. My sister just bought this house here in Palatka and we all agree that Palatka feels like St. Augustine felt like 20 years ago. So you may not have the, the bustling downtown and the nightlife today, but it's definitely coming in the future. And because of the prices and how everything's changed on the other side of the river over here, a lot of people that were living in St. John's County are now being forced over to Palatka. And that's because Palatka still offers an easy commute to get to St. Augustine, to get to Jacksonville if you need to, but you also still have a cost of living that more fits your lifestyle. All right, so we just got back from my sister's house. We're in downtown Palatka in the South Historic District, right in front of Azalea City Brewing Company. And this is a brand new brewery over the past two years. And they've really started to change what's going on here in Palatka. They're kind of the first entrant to the market of the change going on here in downtown. And we had the opportunity to talk to the co-owner of this place, Rod, and his partner, Andrea, about the development down here in Palatka and what they're looking to do with this building. So if you can see over here, they actually are buying the Coca-Cola building over here they already purchased it and they want to turn that into a restaurant and do something with the second and bottom floor uh, that will be in addition to their beautiful little section here of Azalea Brewing Company so a lot of interesting things are going on here in Palatka and just talking with Rod he, he filled me in on a lot of the good stuff so we're definitely gonna see some changes here on Main Street and hopefully it's all for the positive let's go check it out
All right, guys, and that is it. I hope you gained a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of insight into what life is like living in Palatka. If you did, please do me that solid and tap that subscribe button below, like the video, and comment if you have any additional questions about what life is like living here in Palatka, Florida. Until next time, guys, have a good one.